Hi, it's uh, Steve, back on uh, Joe's YouTube channel, Old Bird on the Bike. Uh, hopefully you would have seen a couple of the other, the other videos that we did, which was the introduction uh, to advanced riding, which covered uh, the system, IPSCA, information, position, speed, gear and acceleration, and, and talked about positioning and, and the safety bubble. And the other video we did on, on bends, again, uh, using the system and talking about tie grip trade-off, and go around bends uh, the best way uh, using IPSCA and the not so good way using the racing line and the possible consequences. Now this video is a little follow on uh, f for bends. It's uh, about positive steering. Uh, it used to be called the old counter steering. Uh, what we find is, is the bike will naturally counter steer. So if we go around that say a right hand bend, the handlebars will slightly do this naturally and a left end bend the other way, but it's very slight. Uh, so what this one's about today is actually inputting it ourselves uh, to pass where the bike will naturally do. Uh, and if we do that and build up the skill doing that, we can get around the bend a little quicker and safer, uh, making progress around it using a system, uh, taking all that knowledge in, the tie grip trade off, imprint a bit of positive steering. And if we keep doing it and keep doing it, we build up muscle memory. So if we did ever get it wrong in the bend, the natural reaction of most people is to hit the brakes. If we hit the brakes, uh, there's only one end to that, we're going to come off. Uh, so if we input positive steering, we take that instinct away. And uh, if we do get it wrong, we can whack on the positive steering and that should get us around the bend. Uh, so the exercise we're going to do today is uh, just to get you a feel of what positive steering does. I'm going to go around these series of bends. And I'm not going to be leaning on the bike at all, I'm going to be sat upright. And I'm going to get around the bends by inputting positive steering. So for a left-hand bend, I'll be pushing forward on the left handlebar. Now what I tend to do is, as I push forward, I pull back on the right. So I'll just keep it nice and even, I feel in better control doing that. And on the opposite way, for the right-hand bend, I'll be pushing forward on the right and pulling back on the left. Now, you might not see a lot of movement in the handlebars, but if hopefully the camera's at the right angle, you'll, you'll see where my arms are. Natural riding position, they are slightly bent. But as I go around each bend, you'll see my arms straighten out. So that'll tell you that I'm inputting the positive steering. So if you want to do these exercises, you'll find a very large car park. We can do it slow time through, through a set of cones, maybe, and you'll find that slower speeds, there'll be more input on the counter steering. Uh, or a nice safe road that you know well. Uh, do these exercises, do it uh, sat up right on the bike, let the bike do all the work with positive steering, and then do it ride naturally, lean the bike. So I'm going to go through these series of the bends, first in putting positive steering, sat up right, and then I'm going to come back the other way, ride the bike normally, still using a system, information, position, speed, gear acceleration, uh, still using uh, the knowledge of the tire grip trade off, get the bike nice and even on a steady throttle around the bend. But I'm actually going to input the positive steering. But the second time I'll do it, I'll actually be leaning the bike and I won't be having to input as much as I do going set up right. Okay, so, so we'll do that then. So I'm going to keep the speed down slightly because I'm doing these exercises. Okay, so for just go around here now and then we'll start down at the bottom. So still using the system information, position, speed and gear. Still throwing that safety bubble out. Got the oncoming heavy now, so I'm going to come away slightly the central position to increase the uh, safety bubble on the offside of the machine. Okay, now I'm going to start the exit. I'm going to stay upright and I'm just going to use positive steering. So for the right hand bend, I'm going to push forward on the right bar and gently pull back on the left. I'm keeping my body on right. The bike's doing all the work around the bend. And again for the right hand bend here. Still using information, position, speed and gear. All I'm going to do is use positive steering to get around the bend. Pushing forward on the right handlebar, pulling back on the left. Then across where the line straighten up to set me up for the left hand bend, extend the view. And I'm going to push forward on the left handlebar now and pull back on the uh, right. Coming away then to increase the safety bubble on the offside of the machine for the oncomer. Over to the near side now to extend the view for the right hand bend. And again, positive steering only. Press forward on the right, pull back on the left. 
and the opposite for the left hand bend. Throwing the view up to as far as I can see then. Left mirror check, right mirror check. Brake, 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 brake for the 30. Signal my intentions to the car behind that I'm just going to turn off here. And I'm going to go back the other way and I'm just going to ride the bike naturally now. And again, when the bike does its natural positive steering, I'm just going to press past it. And you'll hardly probably see any difference in the handlebars. So, set myself up then for the right hand bend over to the near side to extend the view. Got the tyre grip trade off. Steady throttle, bike's nice and even. 100% grip front and rear. So, looking at the vanishing point where the road disappears, just going to lean the bike now. But it, and I'm still just in pretty positive steering. Nice steady throttle. Over to the near side to extend the view for the right hand bend. So I'm going to lean the bike normally but just input positive steering. Looking at the vanishing point, following that with my eyes. Just pushing forward slightly on the left handlebar. Just coming centre away for the dip till I've got the view. I can hold the steady 60 mile an hour all the way through these sets of bends now. Okay, lean, push forward on the left. Over to the near side, lean, push forward on the right. I can see to the junction near side, I'm happy, so I'll hold my position to extend the view on the right hand bend. I'm leaning the bike and pushing forward on the right, pulling back on the left slightly. Keeping that nice steady throttle. There we go. Coming away then for the oncomer. Over to the near side to extend the view. Junction near side, can't see into it, just easing off now, covering the brakes, considering use of form. Got the heavy towards me. Now I'm past the hazard, now I can power on. Most accidents on for motorcyclists are on bends or at junctions, so we've just got to anticipate everything. Taking all that information and it'll keep you safe. We never accelerate into danger, we just ease off, back off slightly, cover the brakes. To recover the brakes, then if something does pull out, we're already there and we save ourselves 20, 30 feet. In reaction time, that could save your life. Staggered junction then, left mirror check, right mirror check for the 40, brake, 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 off the brake, select the gear, doing 40 as cross imaginary line, there we go. So you want to do these exercises, find a nice road that you know really well, go up and down it a few times, set up right so you get the feel of what the bike does on counter steering, and then just ride normally and just input the positive steering yourself as you go through the bend, leaning the bike normally, and you'll get the feel for it.